Hello everybody, Michelle here. Uh, it's about 12 o'clock lunchtime here in the Kaimanawa National Forest Park and um, I'm about to start on the urchin trek. Um, I'm just going up to the trig point today. It's about 3.3 kilometers in one direction and I think the round trip is supposed to take something in the region of three to four hours to finish. I'm under no illusions that this track is going to be easy. In fact, I have a feeling it's going to be mostly like this the whole way. And that's going to be a bit of a challenge for the old legs. Because <laughs> they haven't done any serious climbing like this for a little while. I did just want to say that I'm using this track today as a bit of an opportunity to test a couple of well, new pieces of gear because I haven't tried them yet um, but not new in that I've only just received them um, and that is my Cascade Mountain Tech trekking poles which are carbon, carbon fibre um, and also my brand new Ultra Lone Peaks which I picked up in the States just recently and have sort of been using for some little hikes and things around but nothing too substantial yet so I'm excited to see how they go today. It's steep and it's enclosed by beech forest so far. I think this is beech forest I don't really know. Anyway there's a green tunnel the whole way so I was a little bit worried today because it's been quite sunny and I was a bit worried about getting burnt but I do have my Columbia PFG shirt um, just in case it does get a little bit too hot and I have also got sunscreen because if you hike in New Zealand without sunscreen you're an idiot in my opinion. <laughs> Alright I better get up and carry on. I think one of the things they say about doing uphill tracks is don't stop. Because the second you stop your muscles get used to relaxing and then it's that much harder to start again. But this track is a killer, especially when you haven't done anything like this for a long time, which I haven't. The old heart's going and I don't know where I would be without my trekking poles. It's amazing how much easier it makes going uphill, especially when you're carrying a little bit of weight on your back like I am today. Um, I must have three to five kilograms maybe in my day pack today. No complaints about my ultras so far. I'm really impressed with them. Um, nothing is rubbing. I don't seem to be getting any hot spots just yet. I'm interested to see what they're going to be like on the downhill. Um, and whether my toes hit the front because that is the problem that I have with my keen tuggy boots so um, yeah I'm excited to be going down <laughs> but I've got to get to the top first making it look like I've been doing this the whole time. <laughs> the plague of New Zealand hiking. Absolutely ankle deep mud. Oh, look at that red face. So the track seems to have evened out slightly. Um, I'm sure there's still more uphill coming, but for now I'm just excited to be able to actually talk while I'm moving. I've um, just seen a couple of hikers coming in the opposite direction. Um, they look like potentially they've been staying at one of the huts up here. So if you're not familiar with the region, um, this track I think will also get you to Cascade Hut, um, which is uh, probably one of the potentially more popular huts, backcountry huts in the Kaimanawa Ranges. Um, the Kaimanawa Ranges are also pretty popular with hunters, so these tracks are well used. Sometimes you gotta look real hard for these blazers. Oh, it's happened. It's 
went through a mud puddle and lost my footing. And now my brand new ultras are covered in mud. I don't know if you can see or hear, but these little mud traps are absolutely chock-a-block full of flies. It's quite disgusting. I assume that means don't go that way, which I guess is confirmed by that. Well, that just means left. Uh, I can see a blaze just up there, so it's this way. You know, once you've gotten over that horrific uphill climb at the start of this track, the rest of it's actually not too bad and um, there's not too many more climbs although as I could have it there's a little one here now It would seem that I'm going all the way up there. This is probably the trickiest climbing I've had to do so far though. And um, I think for this bit, I'm gonna have to just put the camera away and concentrate. So I will see you at the top. idea of just how steep this slope is and it's all very unstable underfoot. So I can talk to you a little bit about the track now. So the first section is quite steep. I sort of relate it to the Mount Tohara track in that it's completely covered by trees and it sort of goes up and up and up and up and up. So it's quite strenuous, it's quite slow going um, if you're like me, who I make absolutely no aspersions about being the best hiker in the world or the fastest hiker in the world, you know, I started this channel because I'm a complete beginner and I just wanted to show everybody that, you know, you can do stuff like this. So the second part of the track, which again, I'm going to guess is maybe about a kilometre, quite a bit flatter. So instead of climbing all the time, it's almost like there's a a ridge or something that you're walking along for a little bit of it and then just as you think you're getting to the top <laughs> you've got another little section of track which again is incredibly steep and then the very last section as you'll have seen basically alpine gravel slope which is a little precarious only because the ground underfoot is so unstable um, it's just shingle so 
you'll need a good pair of shoes or boots that have some decent grip. It's been a real advantage having my trekking poles. Um, my ultras have been amazing. They're amazingly cushioned, they're amazingly comfortable um, and I would definitely recommend them. Uh, normally this type of track is one that if I'd known a little bit about it beforehand I probably would have worn my boots but I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't. I am at the bottom of the track and um, I just decided to enjoy the walk down and uh, actually work through some stuff. I had to battle a bit more with my anxiety on that little trek than I would have liked but um, I did it in the end. I got there, did some things that were pretty challenging for me and uh, now I'm at the bottom so it is time to negotiate that horrible road back down to the desert road or stay highway one and um, then get home and uh, plan the next hike I guess. It's been great having you along guys, I hope you enjoyed the views and um, I'll catch up with you next time.